you know, it's, it's two one. Ten minutes left in the in the second period. Thirteen minutes left in the second period, and um, you know, there's there, there was the opportunity to let that game get away. Um, and that Canisius had some good chances. We had some untimely penalties, but I thought our scoring the power play goal that puts us up three one. I think that was the thirteen minutes left in the in the second. Our desperation and our clears on the on the penalty kill. I thought Owen played very well and um, we just kept at it and I think that's what what makes the score end up the way it is. But uh, what I'm proud of is that we just kept at our game. We kept working. We never said, Oh, this is the situation, let's play it different. We just kept playing. Had a couple defensive lapses, but you got through them. And you talk about on offense, persistence was everything tonight. But uh, talk about the power play. You know, three more tonight and two last night. Yeah, well, first, on, I think the difference between the defensive lapses we had last night and the ones we had tonight, they had two either breakaways or near breakaways tonight when we were actually doing the right thing. And it either just they made a play or we we just turned it over a little bit but we were being very aggressive there different than last night where we weren't being aggressive um, those types of mistakes there's quite a difference um, the power play again we were seeing that returning veteran guys know how to play coach Weber's done a, a wonderful job with them giving confidence to those groups and we've had some stability in those units not only from from week to week right now, but from last year to this year. So I, I think they're, they've been really, really important for the, the overall number. I'd like to hear a little bit about Patrick Polino, but that whole line tonight was really played really well. Billy, Billy Jarrett and Jake Morello, what were they doing right tonight to kind of get eight points on the board? Well, we, we, we hadn't loved some of the um, cohesion, if you will, with some of the lines. So. After a loss last night, it gave us a chance to, to shake it up a little bit, um, maybe get a little more from, from some guys. What I thought those guys in particular did well, uh, just very responsible um, in terms of all three guys working together. I thought they cycled the puck very, very well um, with possession, not throwing it blind away. And I thought Patty and Jake's energy with Billy's size was a really good combination. And um, obviously there was some excellent finish uh, there as well. Oh, that's good. With uh, me being a senior, I think it was uh, good to uh, get a good start early in the season. But um, I think as a team, we played a full full 60 minutes today, and that was important for us. Take us through that first goal. Laka sets you up with a pass, and then you just got half a step on the D-man. Yeah, I was expecting a chip up the wall, and he put it right on my tape. So he made it a lot easier for me to uh, enter the zone with speed, and I um, was fortunate enough to put it in the back of the net. Mm -hmm. Did you see the goalie make a uh, commitment there is why you went to your backhand? Yeah, I just tried to drag him and uh, give, him, give myself the best opportunity I could. Power play worked well today. I mean, it worked well yesterday too. What's working well that wasn't working last year for you guys? I think we've just been a lot more consistent this year. I think we're uh, moving without the puck a lot better a lot better, and um, uh, getting a lot better chances for it. You guys get seven goals tonight. you got to feel pretty good heading into next week You know, with the offensive output tonight. Yeah, we would have liked uh, two wins this weekend, so we're going to build off uh, tonight and uh, move forward. Yeah, I think going in, obviously, the first intermission, we were having to come out in the second and kill a penalty, and I think that was obviously huge. We built on that in the room, and I think that was a big focus point for us going out, killing those penalties, and then we did, and, and we ended up getting one. And, and then, uh, yeah, obviously, breaks are going to happen, and I was happy I could do my part to stand in there and, and sustain our lead. So, Can you talk about the mentality of like the focus of staying in a game like that where you're, you guys have a 5-1 lead, but... Without you having your focus, that could easily be a 5-3, 5-4 game. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. That's I think that's one thing in the second intermission we said, you know, this period going into the third is going to define what kind of hockey team we are. Either we're going to sit back and, you know, be lazy and, and get bad habits or we're going to go out and, you know, keep the foot on the pedal, and, and that's what we did. So I think that third was a huge period for us, and, and all the guys in the room kind of had the same mindset going in, and that's why we were able to succeed again in the third period. So. Any thank you taps to the goalposts there? I think they hit two in the first minute or two in the second period. Yeah, yeah, a couple, a couple of thank you taps, but obviously, uh, no, they had some Good chances and I got pretty lucky on those but yeah they're nice when those when they stand in there and make one for me but